Hello, everybody, and welcome. My name is Rachel Brown, and I'm going to be talking about consistency for personal growth, empowering yourself one step at a time. So what a little bit what we're going to be talking about is understanding consistency and its impact, the relationship between consistency and personal development, overcoming challenges to maintain consistency, um, some strategies for fostering consistency in the daily life. And then at the very end, we'll have kind of a Q&A if anybody has any questions and stuff like that, which usually there isn't any questions about consistency, but just in case there is any type of questions, we will have that at the end as well. So what is consistency? So the definition of consistency is the act of regularity and persistently adhering to a course of action. The key aspects of consistency is repetition, commitment, and dedication. Um, consistency in habits is why it matters for personal growth. So the power of consistency in personal growth. So it's um, incremental progress. So small, consistent actions lead to significant results over time. So if you start small, obviously, if you do it all the time, you're going to see significant results if you keep on doing it. Building habits. So consistency forms and reinforces positive habits. So you do things over and over, right? It becomes a habit and you it just becomes basically a routine, too, to keep you going. Resilience helps overcome obstacles and setbacks. So... If you need something that you need to overcome, if there's obstacles in the way or something that's setting you back, if you're consistent with that, those setbacks and stuff are going to disappear after a while. Self-discipline. So strengthens willpower and self-control. So that doesn't mean, you know, you have to put yourself down, but you give yourself that self-discipline of, okay, if I'm not consistent, how is that going to impact me? How is that going to impact, you know, your personal life, your business and stuff like that? So the consistency loop. So, of course, consistent actions result to positive results, which leads also then to motivation, right? Increased in motivation leads to continued consistent actions, which goes into the ongoing go growth. So, when you're consistent and you see that it's working, that's going to give you positive results. If you see those positive results, right, you're going to be motivated to keep going. So, that increased motivation is going to give you those consistent actions to keep doing because you'll see that growth keep coming every time you're more consistent and you keep that consistency up. And I always got stuff in my way. <laughs> Challenges to consistency. So time management, juggling multiple responsibilities. So this could be whether it's, you know, personal life or it's if you have a full-time job, and, you know, you're doing being, you know, a travel agent on the side. So that's, you know, you're juggling multiple responsibilities. If you're a parent, um, that's where a lot of my time management comes in. Um, I'm a mom of three and my littlest just started school today. So I'll be able to juggle, you know, my, my responsibilities and stuff easier now that I, you know, I have an empty nest basically, so I don't have any kids at home, but I'll be able to figure that into my routine of my time management now that I already have. Lack of motivation, dealing with demotivating factors. So whether that's, okay, I'm not feeling well today, um, I'll do it later kind of thing, or you don't see the progress you want, so you give up. You have to push yourself to keep going, right? Procrastination, overcoming the urge to delay traffic tasks. I'm huge on procrastination. I always have been. I've been working on that. So that way, you know, I'm not hurting myself or my business. I've been working on that to not procrastinate anymore. Perfectionism, breaking free from the fear of imperfections. So this is a lot of things, you know, everything doesn't have to be perfect all the time. Do we want things to be perfect? Absolutely. But we have to remember that Everything isn't going to be perfect, and some things we can't control to be perfect. Ooh. And then we have life transition. So maintaining, maintaining consistency during a change. So, you know, if you're moving, you're starting a new job, you welcome a new family member, um, you know, stuff like that. It can be a lot of different things that is changing in your life. 
And you have to find a way to maintain that consistency while these things are happening. Overcoming challenges. So set realistic goals. Break larger goals into manageable steps. So instead of saying, okay, I want to, whether it's personal or for your business, um, say personal. Uh, if you are on a diet and you have a weight loss goal, set it smaller. If it's for your business, you want to say, okay, I want to book um, $5,000 of travel in two weeks step back a little bit, right? Give yourself maybe a little bit more time to do that, but make sure it's realistic. Yes, you could book $5,000 in, you know, two weeks, but start small and then you can grow those goals as you go on. Create a routine. So establish a daily or weekly routine. So this is a great thing to do. You could do like a to-do list. Um, at the end of each day, um, I create a list for the next day and I put things on there of what I need to do for that day. And at the end of the day, you know, I'm always looking at my list and making sure that I'm completing those tasks. If there's something that I didn't complete that day, I move it to the next day and just, you know, make sure that I'm doing it. The same usually I do sometimes do a weekly routine, but I try to do that daily what I need to do. Find an accountability partner, support and motivate each other. Um, if you guys don't have an accountability partner, we have a program um, available that you can get one. If you're interested in that, just reach out to your mentor um, or put it in the Team Horizon Discord server and we can get you the information on getting an accountability partner. But you can find an accountability partner from anywhere. It doesn't have to be, you know, through our accountability thing that we have. Maybe there's somebody on a Q&A that you, you know, you have similar interests or you see they're focusing on the same thing, stuff like that. So you can find an accountability partner anywhere. I have a bunch of accountability partners and they've helped me. They have keep me motivated every day to keep going. Celebrate success. So acknowledge and reward achievements. achievements. So even, you know, big or small, it doesn't have to be a huge accomplishment or it doesn't have to be a huge achievement little things celebrate everything celebrate the small steps oh I got you know five trainings done today perfect you know that's going to push you to keep going and learn from your setbacks embrace failures as opportunities for growth how many times do you get knocked down right if you remember being a child when you're first learning to walk right how many times did you fall when you were learning to walk but you got back up and tried again right so don't let those setbacks hold you back Learn from those to push yourself forward. Strategies for fostering consistency. So visual, visualize success. Imagine the benefits of consistent actions. So if you can see, you know, what could come about of from anything, the outcome that it could, you know, do or the changes that could make for your life, visualize that success to push yourself to keep going and to achieve, you know, those goals or whatever it may be. Set priorities. So focus on what truly matters for personal growth. So what do you think is a priority for yourself? What do you want to set on that so that way you can, you know, set that as one of your goals? What do you want to see in yourself to push yourself to do better. Make a commitment. Dedicate yourself to the progress. So you have to stay committed also, right? You can't give up. That's not going to get you anywhere. Build momentum. Start with small, achievable tasks. So like I said, that's with like the same thing as the goals, right? So start with something small. It doesn't have to be crazy. Um, I have a vision board. So that kind of goes with the visualized success. I have a vision board that I look at every day um, it's actually my computer background, so I see it every day and I, you know, push myself to make those goals accomplished. I don't have dates on those. Um, some of them do, some of them don't, but it's just going to push me to build that momentum to keep going. And then we have positive affirmations. Use affirmations to reinforce consistency. I'm a big one for affirmations. I have an app on my phone that sends me different aff affirmations um, every day, and I think it's set like every hour it changes. Um, and I see those all the time and I'm, and they help me. So if you guys, if that's something you need, just, you know, Google is a good one where to get some from, just look up positive affirmations and for whatever it may be, they have all kinds out there and they're definitely great and will help you in pushing you forward. Embracing change and adaptability. 
So have flexibility in goals. Adjust goals as circumstances change. So that can be, okay, Um, say you want to, you know, set one goal. Maybe it doesn't happen in that time frame. Just change the time frame. Or maybe your circumstances change. So adapt to that. Adjust that goal. So that way you still can, you know, do and learn from that and push yourself forward. Learn from change. See how change as an opportunity for growth. So if something isn't working, try something different, right? That's how we all learn. We practice, we learn from our mistakes. Maintain core values. So stay true to your principles. So core values is a great thing to have as well. And if you keep those and you stay true to it, it's going to help you also in the long run. Tracking your progress. So keep a journal, document your journey and reflection. So just write down, you know, what's going on, track your progress. Um, it's a good thing to do. You can use either an app or some tools and stuff like that. There's so many out there to keep track of how to do things. If you want to keep a Google spreadsheet or, you know, something like that. Track your habits and progress digitally. So chart your growth. Visualize improvement over time. So if you see something is working really good, track that so that you can see how that habit is helping if you're consistent, right? So track your consistency. Post your, you know, five mock bookings in the morning, afternoon, evening. Track that and see you can look at your um, insights and stuff on those and see how many people are seeing them and all of that. So that's a good thing to do. So that way you can visualize what you can improve and how you, you can make it better in the end. All right. So do we have any questions on any of that? Any questions on consistency? Do you guys need any help with consistency? Um, yes, my struggle. Love my accountability partners. Dust yourself off and try again. Absolutely. Absolutely. So any questions? Um, but I do want to thank you guys for hopping on. Apply the knowledge you gained in your personal and professional life. So it doesn't have to be just about the business all the time, right? It can be about your personal life. It can be about your professional life. That was quick. <laughs> I talk fast too, and it's like, ah. <laughs> so any questions, any questions? I am going to stop the recording.